Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So as you can see for today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of actually two sets of Little Mermaid mini dolls, figurines. I'm not 100% sure what to call them. I think that they're marketed as mini dolls, but like they are 100% plastic. So does that make them closer to a figurine? I'm not sure technically what the difference is, but it doesn't matter because I'm very, very excited about them. So let's start with this one really quick. This is from the new live action Little Mermaid. This is the mini doll set. And as you can see, we've got Ariel and then all of her sisters. I'm really, really excited. So when all of the like merch started being announced for the live action Little Mermaid movie, these caught my eye. They're just very colorful and very exciting. And I like the idea of a set. I don't know why. It's just something that eases my mind it just makes me feel at peace like the set of sisters is very appealing to me and I gave in I thought that these were so so cute um what made me give in is actually this set though I saw PC Reviews post on her Instagram story about buying I think it was the same set um but about buying the like cartoon set of Ariel and her sisters and so I was like those also look really cute. Now I kind of want both and I thought it would be super, super fun to do like a comparison video with the two of them. So I gave in and I bought both. <laughs> I just, I was kind of on the fence since they aren't like the typical kind of doll that I buy where they're more of a fashion doll with changeable clothing and brushable hair, but they're just so, so cute and I was really excited. So this one had the images of the little like plastic mini dolls on the back. And then this one here, you can see the cartoon version of Ariel and her sisters. And then on the back here, it shows you that the packaging actually turns into like a little display, like a diorama setting, which is very interesting. So I'm very curious to get these opened and unboxed. I don't know why I'm so excited. Like this is very different from what I usually buy, but something about these just really, really was calling to me. So we're gonna do an unboxing today. If you do find yourself enjoying, if you could give the video a like, that is very helpful to me. And if you're new here and you like what you see, maybe subscribe for more. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera real quick to get these unboxed, and then we will bring them all together to talk about them and kind of compare them and just have a great time. I will see you guys in a second. Okay, got all the mini dolls all unboxed. We do only have the cartoon version on screen right now just because, like I said, there is this whole storybook setup, as you can see, so I wanted to focus on that first, but I promise Miss Live Action Ariel and her sisters are all over here. They're going to get their moment in the spotlight too. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is the packaging of the actual box. There was like a little plastic panel in here that had all of the sisters in there. Otherwise, this is all of the packaging. So I do really, really love that it is obviously a reusable packaging. I think that that is really cool. It's just nice to see that it's not gonna, you know, go to waste. It can be used for a display purpose. I'm immediately going to remove this nice little setup that I made, <laughs> but I have to show it off. So this is like one little piece and there's just different pieces of cardboard that were in here that you fold and kind of stick together to go like this. But one thing I want to highlight is some pieces were kind of reversible. So like there's this, but you can flip it around to be this. And even the stuff that isn't reversible is like painted on the back, which I think is just really, really cool. I feel like that's a lot of attention to detail that I didn't necessarily expect. I wasn't going into this being like, this is gonna be the most stunning storybook I've ever seen, but there was a lot more detail than I thought. Obviously that's not the main focus for me. It's all of these little mermaid dolls but I did think that that was really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Ariel. Look how cute she is. They do all have neck articulation and then articulation like around in both arms and then a little bend that kind of lets them sit. They don't sit like great on a flat surface just cause they're a little bit top heavy, I guess with the hair. So they do fall backwards, but if you can place them on a ledge or something maybe, no, not really. Assuming there's like something behind them, then they'll set up. <laughs> but that is Ariel. I also have to admit, as I show you these other ones, uh, I don't know their names. I have never been able to remember which name goes with which sister or even all of the names. So I'm really sorry. It's not intentional. Like I'm not trying to slight them. I just genuinely don't know. I love the tails, like the sparkly in the tails. The texture is also like so nice because the scales are kind of molded on there and they're like it's a little bit bendier down here when the plastic is thinner but it's like very very slightly malleable i i don't know how to describe it it just is extremely pleasing to me and they all look so cute 
Look how shiny and precious they are. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do like a one-to-one -one comparison with the live action ones because they're not like color schemed the same way. And also they all have different names. So I can't even like be, oh yeah, this is Arista's redesign or whatever. I have to just kind of show you them as almost completely separate sisters. But they're so cute. <laughs> I just feel like these are so precious. I want to say that this one with the cartoon versions was like $25. It might have been on sale though. I will double check and I'll put the price on the screen up here. And honestly, for a grand total of seven, you know, admittedly tiny dolls, but seven dolls with packaging that can be reused as a display. And they do have, you know, at least some articulation. Plus they all have unique hair sculpts. So like that costs a little bit more. I really don't think that it's terribly unreasonable, especially with the Disney license. <laughs> so that is all of the cartoon dolls in a nice little pile there now <laughs> let's get out the live action pile <laughs> this is so disorganized this video is like just for giggles i guess again starting off with ariel and with these these were i want to say 30 dollars. again i'll put the price on the screen to 100 percent confirm for you guys but what's interesting is not only do they have unique hair sculpts like all of the cartoon ones but they also have unique tail sculpts and face molds so like if you compare the faces on these two, the face sculpts are not even the same. So they don't have the storybook background, but I do really appreciate the attention to detail with the hair and the faces. So I do understand why they are a little bit more expensive. And I think that they're really, really pretty. All of the colors are just so stunning. I love the sisters redesigns in general for the live action movie. I'm really really wanting the set of dolls like proper dolls <laughs> i will say though that the paint doesn't continue onto the back of the tails for any of the live action ones but they still look really really good like they're just so pretty and i love all their hairstyles i'm really excited for the new movie I feel like I was not feeling super hyped when it was first announced, like, ages ago. But the closer it gets to the release and the more we see from it, the more excited I am. And I'm just, I'm so ready. One other thing to note about these in particular, I, this sounds so bizarre. But when I unboxed these, um, I noticed a slight smell. And so I sniffed them. And so I also sniffed these. These do not have the smell. These dolls from the live action have a very particular almost toxic smelling plastic smell like i'm just casually sniffing it again it is weirdly appealing to me because <laughs> i can't remember what it was but i've smelled that smell sometime in my childhood like some of my childhood toys definitely had that same plasticky smell should i be smelling these dolls i don't know i'm assuming that they are non-toxic like you know, don't swallow them or anything, <laughs> but I'm assuming that it won't hurt me. That was such a weird tangent to go on. But if you buy these and you are sensitive to smells, they do smell very heavily of plastic. I also have to say, first of all, she is probably my favorite sister design. I think her name's Tamika. I think I know that one because of how pretty she is. Look at the colors. She's amazing. Her doll does have like a little bit of a looser head joint. Like she almost bobbles around a little bit. So that's you know, a little bit unfortunate, but she's so pretty. And then this is the last little sister doll from the live action set. So now kind of comparing and contrasting, <laughs> let me get them, I guess, like set up. Is that a good way to do this? I didn't really think this through. They're so tiny that it's like hard to get my camera close enough to them, like while being on the tripod. But let me just set these up really quick and we'll figure out a way to do this. Also, I did change my shirt. You can see the sleeves. I got cold. <laughs> it's like weirdly cold where I am. Uh, so I had to put on something that was a little warmer for my body. Okay, it's not perfect because I feel like you can't really get all the details with everybody. Um, but it'll work for now. Sorry. <laughs> Overall, I have so many good things about both of them. Obviously, this set with the cartoon 
is like more nostalgic for me because I grew up watching The Little Mermaid and loving The Little Mermaid. So like I have a more personal connection to those as of right now. I am very excited, like I said, to see the movie and to kind of develop that more personal connection to the live action dolls because I feel like I'm going to love it. Um, I just, I love mermaids in general. I loved the original Little Mermaid. So I feel like it would be really, really hard for Disney to mess up the live action enough for me to not like it. Uh, I do really like the kind of rainbow setup that you get with the original animated sisters, like the full spectrum of the rainbow. I will say that Ariel's tail is like definitely leaning more teal to light blue than it is green. On camera, it actually looks pretty green, but in person, it's definitely a lot more blue toned. Like in the animation, but it's still really pretty. And like, this is still very visually appealing. I honestly find that over time, their hairstyles bother me less. Cause I remember when I was a kid, the like super bizarre hairstyles were just like irritating to me. This one, especially, <laughs> I never ever liked this, but like now it's kind of cute. I don't know. It's probably the nostalgia talking, but I just think that, especially in like this little doll form where they're kind of cutesy, it looks pretty nice. Um, obviously though, there is a lot less diversity in general with the original ones. And I do really like that with the Seven Sisters to represent the Seven Seas with the live action, they went with a very diverse cast of obviously actors and then therefore dolls here. I think it's really cool that they all have a more unique pattern to them. Like even though they're not in this super aesthetically pleasing rainbow setup each one has so many more colors and so many more paint details and they're just so fun and interesting to look at like I keep getting drawn to this one the color of her tail oh my gosh it's just so pretty like this color scheme is so beautiful so I really love that and like I said they do have the more like unique sculpts too to match the more diverse cast I'm just so excited about both of these. <laughs> like I said, it is kind of hard to do a more direct compare and contrast because the only two that are like really, really 100% the same character are these two. But like, look how cute they are together. Obviously she's got more detail. She's like the original Disney Ariel, but I feel like they just look so cute, like set together, even though they're made from different sets. Something about this is just so wholesome to me. Overall, I really love both sets. Like I have different reasons to love both of them. And I think that that's really exciting. Overall, I just think that there is a lot to love about each set. These for nostalgia and like the rainbow is really cool. And I just like animation a lot of the time. So like seeing the animated versions of the doll is really, really pretty. These are all absolutely stunning designs with all of the colors and the diversity and the different sculpts and everything is just so wonderful and lovely. I'm just really happy to have both of these. <laughs> This is like a very self-indulgent video for me because um, I feel like with them being plastic, it is kind of harder to give a like review type of video because it's not like I can say, oh, the hair is bad quality or the clothes are falling apart or the clothes are really well constructed or anything like that. It's kind of like, yeah, they're plastic. They function the same. Like there's not really any flaws, anything that I notice on them. This set kind of smells plasticky, but that's all I have to say. Overall, like I said, a very self-indulgent video, but very fun for me. I'm really enjoying seeing all of the new Little Mermaid merch like pop up in stores and it's kind of rekindling my love for Little Mermaid. Not that it ever went away, but you know, it's just new. And so it's kind of becoming a more active love again, I guess I'll put it that way. And it's really fun and exciting. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this might be a kind of a boring video. I'm sorry if it was, <laughs> but these were just something that really like appealed to me. And I was really, really excited about, it, even though they're not necessarily a doll proper. So yeah, I hope you guys also could enjoy the video. Definitely leave me your comments and your feelings about these sets in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think about them. And also like, how excited are you for the live action? What is your favorite piece of merchandise that is coming out for it? I would just love to chit chat about The Little Mermaid. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you like a little flyby of all the characters here. But I do hope you guys enjoyed your time. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.